Right, let's head over to the cafe kitchen. And Mark, you've got company again today. Yep, that's right. I'm joined by Megan May, and she's got a new cookbook uh, out at the moment. And we're going to do a recipe out of it now. And I can see we've got some fantastic ingredients. And this, what's this? That's kimchi. Oh, I love kimchi. So what are we going to be making? We're going to make an incredible kimchi pancake. You can also use this pancake to make a burger as well. Oh, it sounds awesome. I love this. And we've got a nice little glass bottle with something special in there, which we'll go... Uh, we'll tell you about a little bit later on. Now it's over to Mel. Mark Charlie, great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen and also great to have you here, Megan. Welcome okay. back. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you've got a new book out yep. and it's called Little Bird Goodness. What's the inspiration behind it? So this is, so my first book was an all raw book um, and this book I wanted to make it more accessible for people right. and it's the way, and also I had a daughter right. in between the first and the second, so I wanted to share the way we eat at home and all the favourite recipes from the cafe. Brilliant. Okay, and very successful cafes. And let's see if Mark can follow your recipes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there, Mark. What are you up to? Yeah, good. The pressure's on today. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> That's good. So we've got some chickpea flour. So we're going to make the uh, base of the pancake now. So we've got some arrowroot in there and some chickpea flour. And then we've got this beautiful kimchi. Smell that. It's fantastic. So I smell Ooh. it. Yeah, that's good. It smells quite intense. Um, but it tastes so much more delicious than Okay, yes, no, you're right about the intensity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the ethos behind your food? I mean, Little Bird, you know, it's an amazing cafe and people love going there. What's the ethos behind it all? So it's all plant-based food. We right. use predominantly organic ingredients. I grew up on an organic farm, so that's really important to me. Yeah. Um, and it's all nutrient-dense, so I really right. like, and that's what's so cool about this dish, is that you'll be left feeling really full. Good. So you've just got some kimchi in there and some really protein-rich chickpea flour in there and a little bit of arrowroot or tapioca, and you're going to create this amazing filling, um, sustaining pancake with it that everybody loves. It's one of the top dishes in our cafe and we haven't been able to take it off the menu since we made it because it's just that popular. You know, you always, you always inspire me because how did you, you know, even come across this recipe in the first place? Did you go somewhere and try it? Or? No, so this is a recipe from one of our staff, actually. Wow, okay, cool. So um, we've had some amazing chefs over the years and this was from a, um, a Korean guy um, who, JK, yeah. who um, was at the cafe for a few years and yeah, he, we make incredible kimchi because we learnt from him um, and this pancake came out of that. So. Nice work. Okay, cool. And Mark, what do you think when you thought kimchi pancake? Oh, I love it. Love nice? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's, it's, you know, it's kimchi, it's just one of those, you know, there's a bit of time and investment and love to make it, but yes. then once you've made it, you know, it's just great. It's just a flavour maker. And then to put it in pancakes, it's just something different, isn't nice. it? Nice. Okay. And you can see it's nice and it's nice and thick and rich yeah. and hearty. And, uh, and there's a little tip here in it as well now, isn't there, yeah. what we were talking about before? So with the kimchi, it's a fermented food, and I've got the recipe in my book for making making your own kimchi at home. Um, but for the, with the fermented stuff, um, it's really nice just to leave it to sit for a little while. So um, I usually leave this overnight or make it in the morning and cook it in the evening. And it just develops and the fermentation actually acts like a bit of a natural like um, baking soda. Right. And it creates some leavening in it as well. So it makes a fluffier, crispier pancake. Brilliant. Okay, cool. It's smelling incredible. And we've gotten that first part done. What, what are you up to now there, Mark? Right, so we're going to make a little uh, aioli now. Yeah, so you put garlic in there. Yeah, so Lip. no eggs in there. So we've got cashew nuts. So yes. these have been soaked for about two, two to four hours or so, yeah, just in then, water. So it just softens them up. And then you rinse them really well. That's an important, important thing. So they taste nice and clean. Right, and then you've got a little bit of lemon juice in there. She's just going to do, and we've got some uh, vinegar in there as well. Pop a little bit of uh, salt in there, and then we're going to blend it. So we want to blend that into a nice smooth paste, and then we've got some just some oil just to sort of emulsify it. Nice. Okay, cool. What nuts are in there again? Cashew nuts. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a little bit more. Oh, yeah, and a little bit of water in. as well. Yeah. Well, there you go. Now she's working, brewing up a storm. And you, you know, you don't have to make the kimchi by itself, do you? You can actually no, buy it really there's make, so huh? many stores yeah. that sell the kimchi already. So that's why I wanted to do this one, because you can go that extra step and make it yourself, um, but you can also just go to a store and buy it as well. Excellent work. Thank you, Megan. I'm looking forward to part two of this. We'll get on to cooking those pancakes next, straight after we catch up with Holly. This is in her book, her brand new book, uh, and things are going quite nicely here. So we've got a mix made, and that's the dressing. Yeah, yeah, so the dressing, so I'm just finishing that off now. Yeah. So once it's sort of nice and uh, smooth and emulsified, keep it going. And then just add the oil really slowly. 
Right. Till it's all in and then that's it. Check the nice. seasoning, ready to go. The blender's working quite well today, isn't it? Yeah, yeah surprisingly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you um, dropped it, yeah. Making. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's a good one to make ahead of time. Um, we always have some cashew aioli in the fridge, and I use it to make quick pastas for my daughter. Oh, yeah. That's really, it's a okay, great that's a, versatile sauce. Yeah, that's a good tip, isn't it? Oh, that's great. great. For many things. It's fantastic. Okay, cool. So now we are about ready to cook a pancake. Right, so this is the, uh, the batter mix. You know, this has been uh, made the day before, yes. and you can just see, sort of thickened off, it's sort of got this nice bubbly, sort of um, texture through it and the flavour in here is just going to be enhanced. And you're using coconut oil I see there? Yeah, you could use any sort of neutral oil but coconut oil works really well for this one. Right. Okay, so here we go. Are you going to do the, are you gonna do the flip or are you going to no. use a fish slice? <laughs> oh wow, you're making a, a okay. huge cool. pancake. Oh well, yeah. No, that's great. <laughs> It's a lot of us here. Yeah. <laughs> we can divide it up. And so actually my two-year-old eats one of, not this size, um, but actually had one of these for dinner last night. Oh, there you go. I was going to eat it any time. <laughs> yeah, and just you wouldn't typically think a kid would love these flavours, yeah. but it's really just a savoury, delicious mm. pancake. I'm so excited to try it, I can't wait. Yeah, it's fantastic. And we've got the sauce as well. So oh, yeah, the special talk, yeah. sauce. Talk about through the special sauce. So like the kimchi um, being a fermented product, you can also make your own homemade fermented chilli sweet sauce. Sweet, sweet chilli sweet sauce. Chili sauce. <laughs> um, uh, and there's a recipe for that in the book as well. It's amazing what you can make at home. Oh, it's fantastic. And I just tried it before and that, you know, those flavours of fermenting, you know, it just freshens it up. It's just something different as well. And so much less sugar. Definitely, yeah. yeah. But, but more flavour. You know, and because you, you don't need the flavour from the sugar. And a top tip for you, you know, if you're going to make this sauce, make it in summer when chilies are cheap. Yeah. yeah you know, you make a big batch, yeah. and it will see through for the rest of the year. All well, nice tips. You two working yeah, brilliantly chilies, together. <laughs> the chili, the price of chilies in winter versus summer, very different. Okay, nice, good tip. Okay, and how's our pancake going? How long do good. we cook that for you? So we're going to need a tell few us more ready? minutes. Does it do um, like normal pancakes? Start bubbling. Yeah, you will see the bubbles, oh, yeah. but you'll see it be cooked through. The batter will no longer be um, wet. You know, right. you'll see it sort of um, cook through and change colour like it is around the edges there. It's starting to smell incredible. I'm just dying so to see how you, how you flip this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested too. <laughs> Get Mike to do it. Yeah. Hey, well, Mike. <laughs> I'll leave it to the experts. Um, well done on the book. Another great Thank success. You. And you know, what, what I like about it too is just the way that you've incorporated making, you know, the, the dressings, the sauces as well. So everybody wants to know where their food comes from. Yeah. And this is a good way to take control of that and have delicious delicious, unique recipes like this one. Okay, are we going to turn? Or are you not ready to turn? No, we're not ready to turn. Not ready to turn. Yet. No. Oh, yeah, that's, that's great Almost. though. It holds, holds together really well, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it holds you know? together really well. But just that little bit in the middle is not ready to... Not ready to come yet. Oh, you're off the hook then, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> We're not going to flip it now. We'll flip it when it is ready to be flipped. So you're going to miss out. <laughs> yeah, and you'll see the nice golden brown at the end. Ooh. You can, yeah. Yeah, you know, you will. We'll show you that towards the end. It's going to be delicious. Can't wait. <laughs> now, if you want the recipe, head along to our website, or of course, you can pick up a copy of Megan's new book, Little Bird Goodness, and try some of her amazing creations in the comfort of your own home. How does that look? It looks incredible, guys. Well, it's we've, amazing. We've been plating it all. We're going to finish it with some sesame sprinkles and it's ready to go. It's ready for you. Feel free to bring it over. This looks delicious. Thank you so much, Megan.